Overall, SDA capacity in the United States has been increasing for the last three decades. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration or EIA's Refinery Capacity Report, installed solvent de-asphalting capacity in the country grew steadily since it kept the record in January 1989 when capacity stood at about 230,000 barrels per day. A recent peak was reported in January 2010 reaching 383,000 barrels per day before a steady decline to 368,000 barrels per day in January 2013. SDA capacity later rebounded and in January 2017 capacity recovered to 393,000 barrels per day. In 2018, ENI announced that its 220.9 thousand barrel per day refinery in Sanazzaro, Italy will have heavy oil output reduced to only 10% of total refined product output due to the additions of a new solvent de-asphalting unit and slurry bed resid hydrocracking technology. In April of 2018, Chilean refiner ENAP licensed a 30,000 barrel per day residuum oil supercritical extraction or ROSE SDA unit at its 116,000 barrel per day BOBO refinery in the Conspsian region of the country. In early 2018, Finnish refiner Nest Corporation commissioned a new SDA unit at its 197,000 barrel per day refinery in Porvoo. In 2017, French oil major Total scheduled the startup of a 49.6 thousand barrel per day SDA unit at its 310 thousand barrel per day refinery in Belgium, that would allow it to produce 10 parts per million sulfur diesel from high sulfur fuel oil. In 2017, to comply with the upcoming IMO sulfur spec, Shell planned to install an SDA unit at its 140 thousand barrel per day Wesseling refinery in Germany that would produce DAO from vacuum residue to be fed into hydrocrackers or to be hydro-treated for further processing. Shell also invested in a new SDA unit in its 420 thousand barrel per day refinery in the Netherlands that would allow DAO and asphalt production from a mix of crudes. This unit is expected to come online at the end of 2018. In 2017, Hyundai Oil Bank signed a deal with KBR to license a ROSE SDA unit with plans to have it come online in the second half of 2018. By licensing the ROSE unit, Hyundai Oil Bank will have the largest SDA unit in the world with a capacity of 80,000 barrels per day. In 2016, Thai Oil awarded a contract to UK-based Amec Foster Wheeler to conduct front-end engineering design for its clean fuels project which would include new SDA units. Earlier in 2016, China-based Hengli Petrochemical Company selected France-based Axons to supply residue upgrading units, which include an SDA unit integrated with hydrocracking technology. In 2015, Japan-based JX Nippon Oil and Energy Corporation brought an 18,000 barrel per day SDA unit online at its Kashima refinery to produce pitch, which would be used as feed for a power plant.